Fred, FR5ED, the 5 is silent, here with a beer review. I did grab several new IPAs and double IPAs the other day uh, that I had not had before, and here's one of them. This is Lazy Magnolia Southern Hops Petality India Pale Ale IPA. There's the label. And um, this is, uh, even though it shows 6% ABV at Rate Beer and Beer Advocate, the bottle says 5.5%, so we'll go with 5.5% for this particular batch. Um, the brewing company, Lazy Magnolia Brewing Company, is in, uh, where is it? It is in Mississippi. And here's what is said about it. I'll may go off camera a little bit here to get to this. Uh, it is our offering of delicious cheer to Lazy Magnolia's loyal fans all over the Southeast. A traditional IPA at its core, we've built Southern complexity into this brew. The aroma is a bold citrus burst on the front end with hints of tropical fruits such as grapefruit, orange, and mango uh, in the finish. Lazy Magnolia's brewers used a unique hop blend for an exciting dry hop aroma. Southern Hop Spitality has a light straw color, crisp, smooth finish on the palate with alcohol content right at the 6%. And again, this bottle says 5.5% um, at, at the limit and a very hoppy 60% IBUs. Uh, it's not 60%, 60 IBUs. Um, Southern Hop Spitality is a breaking, it's breaking new ground for Lazy Magnolia and the Magnolia State. So. That's the commercial description. Now, how it, how it fared in the ratings. On Rate Beer, after only 48 uh, reviews, it rates an 84 overall and a 61 in style. Over on Beer Advocate, after 72 uh, reviews, it rates at an 81, which is good, and the brothers have not reviewed it. So let's get this open and give it a try and, and wrap up with whether it, I would get it again, whether I'd recommend it, Thank goodness for modern video editing, so you didn't get to see what happened when I opened that bottle. You can still see the foam leveled off here, where, after the geyser, I leveled it off. So let's go from here. Let's pour. There we go. That's what I'm after. Wow, that is, vi holy mackerel, that is really developing ahead. I only got about two-thirds of the bottle in there. Okay, so it, it's uh, very active. Uh, in its carbonation, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it's mostly clear, looks pretty clear. Um, and again, it is just just bubbling away there. It's a light, light honey color. You know, it's got a nice light, light color to it. Very uh, robust and impressive head there. Pretty dense. Let me try this um, macro adjustment and get up here and see if you can see, you know, get a good look at the, uh, the head on that. There you go. Okay, so back in focus. Let's give it a smell. Yeah, it's it's um, it's not uh, just bursting with uh, with the hop aromas, but they are definitely there. I can smell some of the malt, the, the bready background in there, and I also can smell the grapefruit, the orange. Not so much. I don't think I smell mango or melon. It's it's the pineapple -y and it's kind of back there, but it's mostly the you know the grapefruit and you do get some of the malts. Let's give it a taste. Okay, familiar, you know IPA. Let's get a little more specific than that though. So hold on. Hop bitterness is it's definitely there. And it's really clinging around the sides and even the tip of my tongue. Interesting. So interesting where hop bitterness tends to manifest itself the most. You know, uh, sometimes it's the soft upper palate and, you know, the back of the tongue. Sometimes it's on the sides. This seems to be more right along the... <laughs> Here, let's do a tongue map. <laughs> along the sides of my tongue and even the, the tip. Mouthfeel is, it's medium, you know, it's not a thin and it's not a heavy. So as often, you know, it's in the middle there. Um, it's very dry, you know, not really picking up any, any sweetness there. As far as flavors, a little touch of the malt and I am getting um, 
a lemony grapefruit um, note in there. Okay, so it's not it's not super complex, um, but you know it's it's I, I wouldn't probably reach for it again as if I saw a six pack or a twelve pack of it. Um, somebody if they were serving it i i would accept it you know it, it doesn't jump out at me and that's only after a few sips so take that into account let me give one more sip it's okay it's not one i'm going to meditate on it's not one that i'm going to take a sip and think about all the things i'm experiencing um but it's drinkable uh I would uh, recommend that you, as always, I recommend you try something one time. It's rare that I say, don't even pick one of these up. I, I've said it. But uh, most of the time, uh, even if it's not one that I would pick up again, um, I recommend people trying it so they don't just take one person's word for something. There's there's so many different options and flavors out there, and it's going to strike one person differently than another. So anyway, that is Lazy Magnolia Southern Hospitality. And this is Fred, FR5ED, over and out. So let's get this open and give it a try and, and wrap up with whether it, I would get it again, whether I'd recommend it. it whoa, ho, 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 ho. Yes, we've got a live one here. Let's get dressed. Ah. Yeah. All right, so, oops, I tasted it already.